Hi guys, this is Rina Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 228 on SOA exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Assuming you're already done, let's just dive right in. So basically this question is asking, calculate the expected average pressure at which the second failure appears. So the second failure is our Y variable given that X is equal to one third. All right, so then we can actually break this down into first finding the probability of y given x is equal to one third because they give you our joint um, probability distribution which is just equal to the probability distribution function which is f of xy divided by the f of x when x is equal to one third the margin distribution function so how do we find the marginal distribution function well this is going to be equal to because we know that x is equal to one third we can just the lower limit of x is going to be a constant which is going to be, the constant is one third and then that has to be greater than zero and it has to be like that but then this is kind of redundant right here right so we can just ignore this part and set our limits equal to one third and one plugging it into this formula right here 24x we know it's to be one third times one minus y and we're solving in terms of dy Again, that's our formula in order in order to find the marginal distribution function for f of x, right? This is our formula. So that's what we're doing. So then, then this is equal to. I'm going to take the constant out, eight. And when I solve in terms of y, I get y minus one half y squared. Evaluating from one to one third, you get the whole thing is times eight. 1 minus 1 half minus 1 third plus 1 over 18. This is equal to 16 over 9. All right, so we got the denominator. The numerator just stays the same. So that's going to be 24x times 1 minus y over our denominator, which is 16 over 9. But then we know that x has to be 1 third, so we can plug that in there. That's 8 times 1 minus y over 16 in the denominator, and I can bring the 9 up. So these cancel out, and you get 2 in the denominator. But the actual problem is asking for our expectation. Well, expectation just y times the probability function, right? So then that's going to be equal to y times our function, 1 minus y times 9 over 2 evaluated same um, same limits because because of this right here so lower limits one third upper limits one dy I'm going to take the constant outside and I get y squared and I get y squared one half minus y cubed one third evaluated from one to one third so let me type that into my calculator real quick the constant still outside, one half minus one third minus one eighteenth plus one over eighty one. This is equal to five ninths, which is our answer B. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.